Hey guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips, here I am uh, in Newmarket at Adventure Sports, wonderful little dive store up here in Newmarket, and um, good uh, good friend of mine, Jody, uh, owns uh, Adventure Sports and does a great job, and I'm here holding this very, very valuable little metal disc. Can you zoom in on that at all there, Kevin? Can you see that? I'd like to see what the surface is like. Uh, there you go. Uh, that's it. And it looks like a whole bunch of pieces of sand stuck together together uh, this this little disc which is only worth i don't know buck buck and a quarter is invaluable to scuba divers yeah 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 and every one of you have used one of this many 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 times yeah <laughs> this is a centered filter you can uh, you can look that up if you like centered s-i-n centered centered filter you can look it up or you can just trust me anyway <laughs> Uh, a centered filter, and these are used in every regulator, okay? They don't all look like this. We'll talk about that in just one second. But in response to a question from one of my viewers, thank you very much, uh, they asked, uh, uh, I see some regulators with centered filter, with, with discs, like this flat disc. It's like a, a dime, much smaller. Or some of them look like this. They're cone, and Kevin will give you a picture of each of these, and, you know, which is best. I was into the dive store talking to the dive store owner. He said, oh, the cone filters are much, much better. That's all you, oh, yeah. I don't know, whatever. I, I think whenever someone says, oh, yeah, yeah, it's much, much better, then I usually uh, check it out. Let's talk about it for one second. First of all, what is a centered filter? Well, this is, it's actually metal. It's usually copper and a couple of other alloys, uh, and they're fused together, little pieces of metal fused together and uh, and uh, what what that what that uh, it's not very thick not very thick at all might be two millimeters tops uh, which is for you guys down south not very thick uh, and, but, but what it is it ends up with it with a metal filter a filter by its very definition means it, it allows something to go through it but stops something else yeah that's exactly what it does it allows air to go through it but it stops dirt yeah. Now these are not these are not purification filters. These don't these don't remove gases or, or uh, other noxious things. Okay, that's different. What this does is remove any particulate, very small particulate. I might add. So even even dust, dirt, pieces of rust, or whatever else you might pick up, you know, fish scales, whatever you might pick up in your regulator by accident, anything. Basically, if you can see it. It's not going through with this filter. This is your tank air coming in here. There might be stuff in it. it might be water. Uh, it, might, it might be rust, dirt, all those things I've mentioned. This air coming out of here into your regulator, there's nothing in it, just air. That's all there is to it. Yeah. So they're very, very valuable because <clears throat> I can tell you they're valuable. I've been servicing regulators since 1969. How long is that, Kevin? 70 is 30 and 23 is uh, 53. <laughs> no, it's not 400. 50 years, over 50. I've been servicing regulators. I have seen more than a couple of these. Yeah, probably about 10,000. And um, and this is brand new. Well, I've seen a lot of these that are terrible. Black. Many, many, many brown ones. Lots of rusty colored ones. Why would they be rusty colored? Why? Would they? Well, because the first 25 or 30 years of my diving in the diving industry we were dealing with steel tanks yeah and the steel tanks were common to get rust on the inside and you bang them and shake them and they're... anyway so yeah these these do a really good job and they're very important because i have seen the stuff that that uh, that um, is deposited on this side yeah and so and they need to be changed they should be changed annually Depends on the number of dives. I get this question all the time. How often should I service my regulars? Well, if you don't dive, you don't need to service them. <laughs> if you dive once a year, you're good for, you know, like that. Rule of thumb, 25 dives, maybe 50 dives max. And you should service a regulator. And this filter has changed. But let's get back to the question. That's one type of filter. Here's the other type of filter. It's a cone filter. Kevin will show you pictures of this. But essentially what this filter is, it, 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 it looks, it's the same size. Uh, so it's the same diameter, a little cap on it. looks like a, Kevin has a picture there for you. A little cap on this cone that drops in. It's held by the same type of little C-clip. You know, you use um, C-clip 
pliers. That's C-clip. C-clip pliers to remove the, the clip. And it drops into the same hole, put a new C-clip in. And, and uh, But the difference is with this particular filter, it is a cone. So there's a hole in the end, and the air goes down into the cone. It's like an ice cream cone. So the air is like the ice cream. Of course, in the inside. And then from this side, air. Nothing but clean air. So there's two types of filter. And the question that the, uh, the person had for me is, uh, which is the best? Which is the best? Well, a comb filter is a little more expensive. The disc filter is, I'm going to guess, at a buck and a half. Maybe a bit more, depends on the dive store. The comb filters would be, oh gosh, they could be up around buck seventy-five. <laughs> There's not too much difference in them. Usually, the the the, uh, the reason for using a comb filter is more related to the brand. So a lot of regular, let's uh, say, I'm going, to, I'm going to say Scuba Pro as an example, which is a very high quality uh, device, a very high quality scuba gear. They often use cones. I don't know if that's related to the fact that the high quality, because in my opinion, as a filter, there's not a great deal of difference. Let me explain what the difference is. The effectiveness of a filter is directly related to its surface area. Okay? You can, of course, you should really, of course, include a measure of the thickness of the filter. But quite frankly, the surface area, the area of the disc, is what's important as the air comes in. Because, and the reason I say that is because once the area, the total area of the filter is clogged with dirt that is filtered out, the filter's life is over. It's useless. So let's just deal with the area. That's the only thing that we can easily measure. Well, the area of a standard disc like this is about 0.2 square inches. That's the surface area. Now let's compare that with this cone. Okay, if you take the cone, it's going to have a larger surface area. You can see that because they've taken the disc, if you like, and they've pushed it in to make it look like an ice cream cone. And of course, they've filled all that extra surface area up with scented filter material. So there is a greater surface area. But what is the difference? Well, <clears throat> this one is 0.2. A cone filter is approximately 0.3 square inches. There is a difference. It's not double. The, uh, the area, but it's getting up there. It certainly is quite a bit larger. So the cone filter will filter more air, or it will act as an effective filter longer for more dives. Now, if that is an important factor for you, well, then you should consider the cone filter. From my point of view, as a service person, as an industry professional, I'm saying that this filter will certainly, unless you have a very, very dirty tank, unless you're not good on maintenance, this filter, the disc, will certainly last easily for 50 or 100 or a lot more dives. This filter will easily last for 100 or 150 or maybe a lot more dives than that. But since you're going to get your regulator serviced at 25 dives, it really doesn't matter, does it? So it really comes down to what is in the brand what you prefer. So again, to address the question from, from the viewer, yes, the cone filter will filter more air. As a higher uh, 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 surface area will filter more air. From a practical point of view, do you need it? Not really. Hope that answers some questions, maybe just confuse you, whatever. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips here at Adventure Sports. Take care. Talk to you soon.